learn new things every day. Welcome to your Max class. Before we begin, remember to keep your journals open in front of you. Let's set a clear aim for today's class. You may already know how to draw straight lines and curves in numbers and letters. We have learned how to draw straight lines using folded paper or a rule paper. We also learned to identify lines and curves in different shapes and figures. Finally, do you remember how to identify lines in solids and how to draw them? Today, we are going to find out more about lines and curves. Specifically, we will learn more about drawing lines and curves in shapes and solids. Now, write in your journal, what is the aim of the class today? I have written down what we are going to learn today. Time for a quick activity. Let's get started. Take out a sheet of paper, a pencil, a ruler, a glue stick and an eraser. We're going to make a paper fan. Fold a sheet of paper inwards like this. Then fold it outwards like this. Continue folding the paper in the same way until there is no more paper left to fold. Like this. Gather all the folds together. Place your fan in the action section of your journal. And then press it tight, like this. Draw an outline of your fan on the sheet. You can use a ruler to draw straight lines. Write A on the figure. Now fold the fan in half and hold it from the center like this. Use glue to stick the edges like this to get a paper fan. If the folds from the center are coming out, use glue to stick them, like this. Make sure to stick folds to only the center. Then place the fan on the action section of the journal below the figure A you drew before. Draw an outline of this open fan. 
Use a ruler to draw the baseline. Write B on this figure. Look at the figures A and B. How many types of lines do you see in figure A and figure B? Write your answer in your journal. I hope you have finished answering. Andy, what is your answer? I can see two types of lines in figure A and a line and a curve in figure B. Correct. Figure A has sleeping lines and standing lines. Figure B has a sleeping line and a curve. Time for analysis. Let's watch a cool talk video. What fun! Yeah! Oh no! What happened? Can't find a tool. Which one? Hmm. Not sure. If you can describe it, we'll find out. Let's draw it. Make a line. Straight or curved. What's that? Let me explain. This is a pencil and this is a straight line. And this too. What about the track? The track bends, so it is made with curved lines. Is the bookshelf made with curved lines? No, with straight lines. How? Upright. It makes a straight standing line. On desk, it makes a straight sleeping line. Are these three sleeping lines? No, lines that make a slope are called slanting lines. So we have slanting lines and sleeping lines. When upright, it's a standing line. They are called straight lines. When a line bends, it forms a curved line. Now let's draw the tool. Make a handle with two straight lines. Then make a curved line on the top. Like this? Exactly! That's a pickaxe. My toy! Dash's house is made with standing, sleeping, and slanting lines. We can see straight lines everywhere. What about curved lines? Dash's tail makes a curved line. I think Dash can straighten it. Curved? Straight. <laughs> <laughs> In the analysis section of your journal, write what you learned from the video. We learned to draw lines and curves in shapes and solids. There are three types of straight lines. They are standing lines, sleeping lines, and slanting lines. When a line is bent, a curve is formed. We will now solve a problem. But before that, let's watch Cool Talk. Time to apply what we have learned to a real problem. Which types of lines do you see in your notebooks? Write your answer in your journal. Your time starts now.
I hope all of you have finished answering the question. Andy, what is your answer? There are standing lines and sleeping lines in my notebook. Good work, Andy. We can see standing lines and sleeping lines in our notebooks. Time for a quick quiz. Let's see if we remember what we learned in the class today. Shade the bubble for the correct answer in your journal. Question 1. The red lines on the laptop are A. Standing line and sleeping line B. Sleeping line and curve C. Standing line and slanting line D. Slanting line and curve Question 2. How many lines are there in the figure? A. One standing line. B. Two standing lines. C. Two slanting lines. D. One slanting line. In today's class, we learned so many things about lines and curves. Now I can easily draw lines and curves in a shape or a solid. See you next time!